Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, the Battle of the Books program, um, a little bit about um, forming teams, how it works, what the competition is like, and then when I see you next time, I will collect um, teams or help you form teams if you need to. So just a little bit of basic information. This is a reading challenge for third, fourth, and fifth graders. And students in third grade will only be competing against other third graders. Um, you will read 10 books together with the other kids on your team. So each kid will end up reading two or three books. Um, and then out of to, to cover those 10. And then each team is allowed to have three or four kids. We have a lot of copies of books in the Media Center for checkout. And these books are the same books that I talked about a few weeks ago from Mod Heart Lovelace. So how do you become a member of a team? Anybody who wants to will be in Battle of the Books. You can either form teams on your own or let me know and I will help you form teams. Something to think about is diversity. If you are on a team with kids who are the same as you, your team might not be as strong as if you were on a team with kids who are different from you. Thinking about the book that has the boys who kill a squirrel and skin it and cook it over a fire, to me that was kind of gross to read. And let's say there was someone on my team who was totally into that, outdoor survival, they might like to read that book and I could skip it. So diversity is a great thing. We have a Battle of the Books webpage. So if you go to Poplar Bridge, click Media Center, and then scroll down, there's Battle of the Books. You already have visited Mod Heart Lovely, so it's just right by that. Once you click Battle of the Books, it'll take you to here. The one most important thing on this page is the team checklist. That's the checklist that you'll use to keep track of who has read which book. Looks like this. So one person on your team would make a would um, make a checklist and then they'll click the blue share button in Google to share it with the other people. I recommend also that you star that doc. So here's what it looks like at the top of the doc before I star it. If you just click on the empty star, it'll make it yellow. It'll just be easier to find in your Google Drive. At the competition, the types of questions we ask, um, I'll start out with, in which book and then I'll ask the question. So let's see how you do. In which book, this is a picture book, was there a girl who tricked her entire school into shaving their heads because they copied her and she was tired of it? This title is by Robert Munch. Can you guess it? The book is Stephanie's Ponytail. Here's another one. In which book is there a rabbit who builds a fence around Krakenhopper Field to keep the carrots in? This book is Creepy Carrots. So those are just examples of the types of questions that we'll ask at the competition. When you are reading a book, it might be a good idea to jot down some ideas as you read. I know in fourth grade you do reading down the river sheets. You might want to use those to refer back to. Fifth grade, I know you do slideshows for the 40 book challenge. Um, so the competition's in May. You're reading a book in October. Sometimes that's a long time that's a time span and it's hard to remember some details. So if you want to use a graphic organizer of some kind that might be a good idea. On the Battle of the Books webpage I have a graphic organizer. It looks like this. Again this is not mandatory it's just something I put in there as a support if you would like a place to, to record important parts of the story. We're going to skip over competition rules just because of time. Know that we do have, though, the preliminary round, which all students participate in, and then we switch to a buzzer round for just the top three teams. One winning team will be announced per grade level. So again, to get to uh, the Battle of the Books webpage, go to the Media Center, scroll down, click Battle of the Books. Remember, each team needs one team checklist to share, and then this is the graphic organizer if you would like to use it. I'm going to skip over that. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, I will be collecting teams um, next week and the week after, so you'll have some time to think about it. So here's the deal. After you get books checked out today, everybody, even if you are not going to be in Battle of Books, everybody is going to take a survey for me. So you're going to click Media Center and then go where it says Battle of the Books Interest Survey. Click here. The survey is a quick survey that I just want to gather some information about you. At the top, it's going to ask for your email address. When you do that, it's your username for Google. So it's going to be part of your last name, your first initial, and your graduation year. 
at isd271.org. And the questions are just asking if you're interested in Battle of the Books, if you aren't interested, why? Um, do you need help forming a team? Do you already have a team figured out? So there's just a few questions that I will use to try to make Battle of the Books a better program. So after book checkout, everybody needs to take the survey. And then you have a choice. If you want to quietly talk to people in your class about organizing a team, you could do that. You could do quiet reading time at the couches. Or if you want to watch some of the Mod Heart Lovelace nominees, those book trailers I had in YouTube for you, you could do that too. So thanks, and I'll see you soon.